Well, here we are continuing our um, interviews with luthiers all over the world. And you've seen and heard uh, interviews from builders that I visited in England and, and Spain to come, and Ireland, and Germany. Uh, and now we're in a very exotic location. Well, not really. We're here in Santa Barbara, where, where I live. And this is where Classic Guitars is located. And Jim Redgate happens to be visiting me from Australia. So we're going to talk to Jim right now. Well, Jim, for many years you were building um, lattice guitars only. And in the last few years, you began building double tops. And I have to say, uh, you brought me a, a amazing spruce double top that I asked you to build for me. And I'm very, very excited and thrilled to have it. Um, and looking forward to playing this guitar. And I've just seen your double tops flower and blossom. And I was wondering, um, as, you, as you began to evolve your concept of the double top and what you wanted and what you had seen in your mind, you know, what, what sort of inspired you in that direction? What are you trying to achieve with a double top that's maybe different than what you were trying to achieve and are achieving with the lattice guitar? And finally, um, perhaps we could end on, uh, on a note if you've had any particular innovations regarding the double top that are sort of revelatory you know, for us to hear about. Yeah, um, well the inspiration of course comes from Matthias Diamond who, um, who was the inventor um, of the double top system. Um, and you know, having seen some of his guitars a few years ago um, and just loving the sound of them, I, I realised that that was something I'd, I'd really like to try and build some of those sounds into an instrument. And I think, you know, like I said before, there's a certain sound that you can get out of a lattice guitar and you can modify that sound in a certain way. But if you want to try and produce a totally different sound in an instrument, you have to go with the system to produce that sound. And I think the appealing thing about the double top system is that it, you know, it strives to build a very traditional sounding instrument, but with more volume, more response. And um, the great thing about volume is that it gives you more dynamics within the instrument. You can play soft, but you can also play very loud. So even if you're amplifying, you can get a fantastic dynamic range, but also you don't have to work as hard within the instrument. Um, one of the very difficult things about building a very loud, responsive guitar is as it becomes louder, any problems with the instrument also become more apparent and more amplified. So one of the challenges with building a very, very good double top is to, yes, get the volume, but also get balance and tone, particularly the balance between the bass and the treble sorted out. And I think that's, it, takes, it takes everyone a little while to get that worked out when they're working within a new system, but once you start to work your rules of building out, um, that those things start to fall into place and, and you start to get very much your own character in building. So uh, I think you'd probably agree I brought you up there, that beautiful spruce double top. Fantastic. And uh, it has its own character. I, I mean, I can't stop that. It sounds like one of my guitars. But what I love about the sound is, it, is I, I like that the treble has a thickness and a body to it. When you play a note, you get a, a sharp attack so you can hear the note clearly. And then you get a follow through in the body of the sound, um, which is very appealing on a double top. Um, so that's the reason that I was drawn to the double top system. I, I really feel it does give you that. And I think and people sometimes ask me, you know, which guitar is louder? Because a lot of people, you know, are drawn to very loud guitars. And I think they're a comparable volume. The, the sound of the lattice is perhaps um, has a more modern, um, it has a, a sharp, very sharp attack and is very good for playing modern music, fast passages. The double top still has um, a, a lot of clarity and, a lot, uh, and, uh, and has a nice attack, but it has those romantic um, syrupy sounds if you, want to, if you want to find them in the instrument, if that's your thing. Um, but because of its volume, it's also extremely good for, um, for modern music. Um, the, where I've been going with the design is uh, recently, in, probably in the last year and a half, I've uh, been building what I call the Wave Double Top, um, which is a, a double top system with a, with a distortion or a corrugation running through the top of the instrument. Part of what drew me to that was um, the observation that guitars, which um, older guitars, and sometimes some new guitars are built like this, tend to be built with a slight collapse in, in front of the bridge. Um, that the top will flex up and 
into a, into a bit of an S shape. And I really noticed that those guitars sounded fantastic. So um, I started to think, well, what's this, this flex doing within the instrument? And, and what I came up with was by distorting the top slightly, it's corrugating the, the top across its cross section and giving the, the instrument more strength than the top across the grain of the guitar. So, partly inspired by a French luthier called Papalado, and also um, there were some guitars built back in the 80s with a stepped top, um, I thought, well, this is an interesting idea to apply to a double top instrument. So, I designed an instrument with a, with a wave running through the top, but reversing those points of, of distortion you see in a guitar, an older guitar, so that there's now a an arch in front of the bridge and a concave behind the bridge so that they form two opposing arches against the pull of the strings. The result of that is that the top becomes much stronger across the grain um, and, you seem, and, and you, you seem to be able to reduce the thickness of the top and the bracing without any compromise to the strength of the instrument. Reducing the weight of the top gives you more response. Um, also the fact that the top isn't a flat panel and um, means that the instrument works far better from an acoustic point of view because you don't have a build up of any any opposing waves within the guitar which in physics are called standing waves um, it's very it's getting a bit technical but basically what it does is it evens out the response of the instrument so the wave double top is a very kind of encouraging for me concept it's producing a very loud guitar with a very the very thick beautiful sounds of the double top but one thing about them is they're extraordinarily even up the, up the neck. I mean, every note seems to be equal and beautifully balanced. Um, I, I wouldn't say that one is superior to the other. The flat top, double top seems to probably, to my ear, have a little bit more bottom end. Um, uh, but the, the wave double top, still while having a lot of bottom end, seems, seems to have a, a, much, a sound that's much more focused and controlled. Um, it's not saying that either one is deficient, they just have a slightly different character in the same way that perhaps the lattice guitar has, has a character of, um, of being a very modern, bright sound. Um, I've had a, quite a few of the Australian concert players now using these, um, these wave tops. Uh, initially, the first one I built went to a very, very good player called Slava Gregorian, um, and now there's a player called Gareth Koch in Australia, and also Karen Sharp who are um, probably some of Australia's top players using uh, using these guitars and starting to record on them. Oh, that's fantastic, Jim. I, I remember playing the first one you brought up here, and the other thing that I noticed that, that uh, it's nice to mention too is they have what I'll call an ergonomic feel to them. I mean, the, yeah. the, the, the design and the shape is so comfortable against the body and very, very unique in that way, and um, just a joy to play. Really, really a, a, a great experience. Yeah, part of the design, um, it, because of, of the actual curve of the instrument, the, the neck comes in at a, is a very steep angle, um, perhaps similar to the Humphrey Millennium, um, which makes the access to the higher positions very comfortable. But also, in order to in incorporate the wave into the top, the back has a, quite, a, quite a pronounced um, dish. It's built into a, into a dish, um, which also makes the instrument extremely comfortable to hold. And in some ways, I've had some feedback, which people are saying it reminds them perhaps of an instrument like from the string family, like a viola or a cello. It's got that kind of um, curvy... Kind of nestles in your body, curvy yeah. Curvy feel about it. Yeah. Um, uh, Slavo Gregorian told me that um, he picks up an, a, a, a normal shaped guitar now and it feels totally alien to him. This guitar has kind of almost morphed into his own, his own playing and his body. He feels extraordinarily comfortable holding it. Um, so, you know, it's, it's been really encouraging. And I think the other thing about playing, I'm very much a person who, who tries to innovate ideas. Um, I, I work in two, two ways. One is a very slow, methodical approach to recording all the details of the instrument and gradually refining my instruments in an evolutionary sense. But also, every now and again, I have an idea and I build something crazy. And um, if it works, it teaches you something about all of your instruments. If it doesn't work, it still teaches you something about your instruments as well. So, um, amazingly enough, the first one of these wave guitars works so well that a professional recording artist has got it and recording on it and loves it. Um, so it's, from here, it's just a, a matter of refining them. But some of the things I learnt 
through building the wave top, um, already applying to the, the standard looking wave top, which are perhaps more appealing for those people who don't want something that's too modern and too unusual. Um, uh, but I'm applying the principles I've learned from, from those experiments to it. I very much experiment all the time. Thanks so much, Jim, for uh, sharing all that. And, and it's great to see you up here in Santa Barbara. Thank you a hundred times for making this fantastic spruce double top that you brought up for me that I, I know I'll love for years. And um, thanks for everybody that's listening. We hope you enjoy this, this interview. Thanks, Chris. So long now. Bye.